very rapid rate. We also know that a number of marine resources are likely to be affected adversely. Climate change is also leading to migration of species. The species of fish that perhaps you were able to catch in the vicinity of Goa, uh, say over the last 50 years, may not be able to survive beyond a few years more. They may migrate to other areas as a result of climate change. This is certainly happening to a number of plant species. Uh, the result of climate change is causing a migration of these species, typically in mountain areas, but also in areas that are in coastal locations. I mean, the entire Western Ghats is a hot spot for biodiversity. And the threat of climate change, as far as species is concerned, is very serious. We have assessed that as a result of climate change uh, exceeding the range of 1.5 to 2.5 degrees Celsius increase in temperature, about 20 to 30 percent of the species that we have assessed could be facing the threat of extinction. And we also know that hmm, a number of species have already become extinct. So, therefore, it is important for us to look at marine species and to look at species on land, particularly in an area where you have uh, the good fortune of uh, a wealth of biodiversity. And that biodiversity loss can lead not only to greater disease, can certainly reduce our ability to produce uh, medicines that actually can prevent or cure diseases, and it certainly would have an impact on agricultural production. As a matter of fact, climate change has a direct impact on agricultural production, and for a country like ours, <coughs> the net effect would be a negative one.